I recently went on a road trip with my beautiful perfect doggo Zephyr. We had a really cool time exploring spooky cave full of bats and playing fetch. And canoeing down scenic rivers and playing fetch. And exploring and climbing high mountains and playing fetch and sleeping after playing fetch and then more playing fetch hey he likes to play fetch there's nothing wrong with that now if you're like me then your entire existence revolves around your precious fragile furry child so how did I manage to keep him from turning into a spicy hot dog? Well, I had a couple of strategies to help mitigate our peppery stumbling block. And hopefully these tips can help you prepare for any summary road trips that you're preparing with your never naughty even when they are doggo. So my first tip, check that your aircon is operating fine. So before you even think about heading off onto the road, uh, take your car in for a service to the mechanic and um, ask them to check your aircon, make sure it's all going fine because that is a welcome relief when you're in those really hot places. The next tip is buy a portable rechargeable fan. This was probably the best thing that I purchased for our trip. Not just for Zephyr, but for both of us. In the tent, it worked really, really well because some of the nights were super hot and were hard to sleep. And you can find them pretty cheap on eBay or other websites. Always have water on hand in some sort of container or a bowl for them to drink out of. And if you can't keep the water that they don't drink, then just use the rest of it to cool them down by pouring it over them. Spray bottles are key. Uh, I always carried a spray bottle full of water in my pack. At first Zephyr hated it when I sprayed him down with water, but by the end of the trip he really really liked it and he would come to me and want to get his fur all nice and cool. Now remember when you're out on the road that the surfaces on the ground can get really hot and uh, if you can't walk on them then it's probably not a good idea for your dog to walk on them too. So one thing that I did was I got Zephyr some doggo booties and um, I'm just going to say he looks very cute wearing them so even if you don't need them just put them on because they're super cute and you know you'll get a lot of people wanting to pet your dog but if you don't have them just make sure that the ground is always safe to walk on by touching it with your hands or walking in bare feet um, I was often carrying Zephyr across the roads to make sure that it didn't burn his feet because they were super hot and there's no way that I would have been able to stand on them myself. Plan your route around places like rivers and lagoons or the ocean if you're near the coast and spend the night around those areas so during the day if your doggo does get hot he can just go for a swim, get his feet a little bit wet, you know, dip his toes in the water. And if you can't have them off the leash just join in on the fun. Sometimes Doggo just needs a rest and if you find a good kennel for them to stay in for a night or two then that gives you both a rest and the best part of your Doggo staying in the kennel is when you pick them up and they're super happy to see you and you're super happy to see them and you're both just super happy. If you're out and about and it's a hot day get creative if you see something that might be able to help your doggo like a shade under a tree or you might find some water fountains go over and help cool them down if you've got an active doggo like zephyr where he needs to have exercise like he craves it make sure to wake up super early for his exercise try and get rid of all of his energy in the morning so he doesn't really want to do too much during the hot days 
so there you go um those are my hot tips <laughs> hot get it hot tips for keeping your doggo cool if you've got any tips or tricks for keeping your doggo cool during a road trip or in any sort of super hot situation then leave a comment below because i'd love to hear them and i'm sure everyone else would too if you haven't already check out my other videos i've been posting quite a few videos of our trip and i'll be posting a few more and doing some vlogging later on and if you like them then maybe subscribe to the channel if you want to see you in the next video